unboxing video. It's kind of a continuation. We've got another CPU cooler in here for Thermalrite. Thermalrite will have four total. And this one is the Assassin King 90. So fans are 90 millimeter. I don't know what the best angle for you guys to see this is. Um, 92 millimeter fans and the weight's 105 grams. Now, um, unlike the 120 and the 140, the fan speed's going to be a little smaller on this. Or, but the speed's going to be faster. Did I say that right? The fans are smaller, but the speed is faster. So we have, what else do we have? Airflow, 44 cubic meters is the uh, max. Static pressure, all that's on the front. Four pin PWM. And so I have, uh, gosh, a bunch of different coolers. Um, some other 92 millimeter ones. I need to go find something to cut this with that's better than the uh, the Phillips I was about to use. All right, so I'm going to use some scissors. So, yeah, we have four, four of these we're unboxing. And I actually was going to buy, uh, like, eight. We have two more coming tomorrow which is just insane but i'll tell you what uh, a couple of the thermal rights did so good for the channel i was able to buy oh geez almost cut my finger um that's stupid i was able to buy get this every one of these coolers with the money i made off the monetization so um, that's always a good thing all right so we've got directions and like the last video, I forgot to put them back in the box. Now, folks, with this one, we will not do it in Chinese. No fucking way. We'll do English only on this channel. Maybe some Spanish. But, uh, so we have our parts list. Parts list. Feels like we need more light, folks. And this other camera to raise it up a little. There we go. So we have parts lists, we have the directions. I will assemble this for either AM4 AM, and, and or AM5, all right, just so you know. We'll do uh, probably 1151 or 1200, and I will definitely, I won't be doing LGA20XX, but we will do LGA1700. Now, remains to be seen whether that motherboard which motherboard I will pick and what the CPU is. Uh, this cooler, honestly, for Intel, you don't want to put this on a overclockable CPU. You would want to pick something that has a low TDP. So here is the fan. Like they said, 2500 RPM here on this guy. Uh, we have a bunch of these. 4-pin PWM. And oh yeah, I am not I am not sponsored by Thermalright. At least not yet. I should reach out to them like, hey fuckers, I have bought a lot of your shit. Start sending me this crap for free because I'm making you guys a lot of sales. So you guys should check out my Amazon Associates. I'll have to put that up one day. How many freaking uh, Thermalright CPU coolers I've sold through my links. It's ridiculous. I'm telling you, this is like, my favorite brand is Noctua, but they don't make me shit. Nobody buys anything off the of links, but Thermal Right, man, they've been buying it like crazy. All right, so we do have to take the fan completely out. I should have known that. I was trying not to make a huge mess. All right, so here is your tower. This is a five, five pipe one, right? So obviously better than four pipe. And notice that, folks, I sometimes forget to say this. It is not perfectly symmetrical, right? So you've got what appears to be um, a little offset. Now, I'd have to measure this, but uh, ideally, you would probably put, uh, let's see, you have to figure this out. You'd want to be a little further away from your graphics card. Um, now. Actually, we need a motherboard. Hang on a second, folks. 
Let me grab the motherboard. I was thinking this was like the Peerless Assassin 120 SE, uh, which, depending on how you mount it, you can get a little further away from the graphics card. But I think I was mistaken. Um, so ideally, this guy is going to be... Yeah, this doesn't matter. There's so much clearance. Never mind what I just said. Um, now you will notice that this side is where you're going to put the fan. And it's going to look something like that when it's, when it's in there with the fan... This is the intake side of the fan. We'll cover it in the installation. But uh, the fan would be on this side, all right? So it's going to look something like that. Now, let me get the motherboard out of the way. Expensive motherboard. We don't need to damage another motherboard on this channel. Because Lord knows I'm never going to get sponsored by anybody. I kind of feel like there was a couple of companies that did sponsor me because they sent me so much junk. Um, some of it was junk, some of it not junk, but so Vitru, they, uh, they sent me tons of coolers and we got to drop down a little bit. Um, I had so many Vitru CPU coolers, like sending me multiples of the same thing. Um, and then they, eventually they wanted me to actually pay for stuff 50% and I had to bow out because their quality isn't that great. So I was like, no, nah, thank you. All right. So here are four fan brackets. What does that mean, folks? If you wanted to buy a second 92-millimeter uh, fan and make this a plus model, basically, you could do that, right? Sometimes you'll see me do that. You know, most of the time it only cuts uh, maybe one to, to two and a half degrees. Backing plate. And this looks like it's uh, good for uh, two different sizes. So it's square. So just looking at that, I can tell, hey, this is an Intel backing plate since it's square. You know, AMD, rectangular, right? So um, looks like two different positions. So LGA 1151, 1200, and then a 1700. All right. Now I can tell you I'm going to hate this. Um, I'm actually going to hate this mount because it just means a whole shit ton of parts now these are various spacers oh gosh look at this this is crazy usually they keep all the spacers together so you've got the blue ones lga 1700 you've got the black ones are 1151 to 1200 then am4 am5 here in their screws with this packaging um it would appear yeah you're going to use these screws for either one of the Intel mounts. Um, probably to include the 20XX. So you've got that. You've got different nuts in here. All right. So when I do that installation, folks, it's going to be, um, it might be a little painful. Now the AM4, AM5, you'll use these spacers. They'll sit on top of the, the motherboard, but it'll sit, you know, around these. And you'll use the screws in there. And then you need these uh, mounting brackets. So this looks like it's all of the mounting brackets. Um, and they've included some rubber uh, dampening pads, it looks like. Now, rubber is a good thing to reduce vibration. Anybody that's had... Uh, Vibration, say in uh, mechanical engineering degree, like yours truly would uh, would know that. But you know, most of you guys, who knows what you know, right? I don't know what you guys know because I don't know most of you. But um, so this is the one. This bracket goes with the AM4, AM5, and like I said, you'd put a spacer. Well, you'd have it underneath the motherboard spacer. Um, then put this in here. Put the screw in it over here another spacer put the screw in it tighten it down and and um a lot more to that but check that video out folks all right so that is the uh the am4 am5 mounting brackets and then you've got your intel ones here all right and i'll have to look at the directions to figure out which way it goes but 
Um, same, you know, kind of setup. Washer, screw, right? But in this case, that backing plate that I showed you earlier, um, you'll have to really work hard to get get this set up. It's going to be painful. Um, I kid you not. Thermal paste. This is the better one that they make. TF7. Good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and just put this in my... I have this bag full of thermal paste. Um, you'd think we'd have more for as many as we have, but we go through it all the time. So there you go, folks. That's going to do it for uh, this unboxing video. And we are going to, uh, at least on this camera, keep rolling. Um, the main 4K 60 FPS camera. We are going to sign off in a second as I put all this crap back away. But yeah, this is very similar to a couple of the other CPU coolers that we already have. Um, matter of fact, I almost feel like I've already bought this one. That's that's pretty sad. But Amazon didn't say that I did. So, all right. So we have these boxes. Life is too difficult to put all that stuff back in there. All right. Putting it back away. But yeah, hey, folks, just hit 7,000 uh, overall views or published views on this channel. We're actually at about eight. But I got to say thank you. We're also hitting 8,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um, helps out the channel. I don't know if it really helps my uh, YouTube algorithm. You know, it all depends on how much people watch these videos. But some of these CPU cooler videos are crazy how many views they get. And other ones, you know, it's like, wow, that's a... Some of my best videos don't get any watch time. Some of my worst videos get crazy watch time. And I'm like, yeah, there's mistakes in there. But YouTube doesn't let you edit anything after the fact. If it becomes a better piece of software or whatever, you know, you would assume that I'd be able to go fix some things or at least put little notes, hey, don't do this. Rotate that, you know, 90 degrees or 180 because yours truly didn't put it exactly on there perfect even though it works. Um, stuff like that. So thanks for checking out the video, folks.